Hastings aircraft arrives at Lynham Airfield in Wiltshire, bringing back 22 British soldiers from communist prison camps in North Korea. All were released under the sick and wounded exchange agreement. The crowd surges forward as the open doors reveal the stretcher cases. The walking wounded are first to leave. Eagerly they seek their wives and sweethearts in the crowd, their loved ones who for many months have smiled at them only from treasured snapshots. The weary days of captivity are forgotten in the joy of reunion. Now come the four stretcher cases, and even for them, the pain and suffering they have endured and still endure are swept away, for they are home at last. His mother and fiancé greet Lance Corporal Guess, whose home is in Luton. Seeing his two-year-old daughter Linda for the first time is Rifleman Roberts from Peckham. A private in the glorious Gloucesters, Enoch Hartland will soon be home in Wolverhampton. Private Brown of the Gloucesters was captured two years ago. From the same regiment is Corporal Hunt, who states that he had very fair treatment during captivity. Reunited with his wife, Private William Cox, prisoner for two years, says that he was also a captive for five years after Dunkirk. Well, that makes quite a long trip inside, doesn't it? Seven years. Yes, it's far too much. Well, I suppose you're pretty glad to have him back, aren't you, Mrs. Yes, Cox? Yes. You've been missing him a lot? Yes, I have. Twenty-year-old Fusilier George Hodkinson, here with his mother, was awarded the Distinguished Conduct Medal as soon as he was released. I don't know what's playing for me, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do when you get him home? <laughs> Well, tonight, there's nothing much doing tonight, but uh, tomorrow night we, there's a family reunion to start off with. And of course, next weekend, most likely, I think the, uh, the borough's going to do something for them. Oh, that's very nice indeed. Well, there'll be quite a few celebrations. There. Yes, it's got quite a few celebrations to take place. Sapper Milnes bids his mother farewell as the men board a coach that is to take them to hospital for immediate examination. First reports indicate that all have been treated better than was feared. Now, most of the released men have rejoined their loved ones in their own homes again. <laughs>